We are here today with our Aspen Germany Leadership Seminar, Philosophy and Practice, and we are in this beautiful venue of Kloster Mühle, close to Berlin. And I'm really happy that I'm here today with one of our participants. Thank you so much for the time. Could you introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, I'm Thorsten. Um, I, I come from Stuttgart, work for Mercedes-Benz. And I'm, I'm really happy to, to have the opportunity to be here. So thank you for the invitation. Well, we are also certainly very happy that you took the time. What made you decide to join our seminar? It's quite a, quite a long seminar, three days over the weekend, your personal time. What made you uh, decide to come? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, um, it was uh, driven by, by my boss, uh, so to speak, uh, Eckhard von Kleden, who is um, the chairman of, of your board of uh, trustees. And... Um, he forwarded uh, this invitation to me and gave me the oppor opportunity to, to take part. Um, I'm currently in the process of uh, professional development uh, in, into the future, and uh, that is an important milestone for getting there. And the last two days were pretty intensive, right? Um, reading lots of text. And uh, when we say philosophy and practice, it really means philosophy and also practice. Was there so far something surprising about the seminar? Um, well, it was clear from the beginning that there would be some surprises because we, we had this major reader of more than 200 pages. And uh, it, it wasn't really clear in advance how the seminar would look like. So how you turned this into practice and, and how the conversations went, how we combined the real-time leadership experiences with these um, texts and partly very ancient texts, uh, that was, and, and that really surprised me how many parallels uh, you can find in those texts and, and how uh, those old things, uh, to, to put it that way, are still very, very present in today's leadership. But it's not a university seminar, right, where you just look at the text. There's also a practice part around it, right? It resonates with what you do in your job as a leader, does it? Does it have relevance? Certainly, certainly. Um, I, I take away uh, quite quite a number of things from from being here and from the, the conversations with the other participants with the group. Um, this this point of value based leadership is for me a, a very important one, and probably most people would agree. Um, but also learning that you cannot fulfill all the values at at one time, but that you're in many cases in a situation where you have to somewhat choose or make compromises and see which value is more important than another one in a certain situation, um, that is for me a, a really important takeaway. Now, leading in times of uncertainty and with all the, those crises around us is really not an easy thing to do. Um, you are a leader, you have a team. Um, can you give us any tips how to be a good leader? Uh, well, I, I, I try every day. Um, I think a lot is or uh, about shared leadership also to uh, give responsibility to your people, um, to, to, to have these major leadership tasks on a number of shoulders and not only your own and, and also take advantage of all the uh, capabilities and competencies of your team and make the best out of it. And you're an economist, right? Um, <laughs> did you have a favorite text which we read? <laughs> Was it Hayek? Was it Keynes? <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, uh, I, I liked Hayek um, because it was familiar and after quite also quite some heavy reading um, in in the reader until I came to the Hayek part I was a bit relieved hey there is something which I'm familiar with and which I've heard about in in my own um, study times uh, so that was comforting me um, on the other hand the, the people leaving Omelas was 
maybe the one text which touched me most emotionally because it took such a surprising turn in the end and it really made you think and also made you realize um, that this is the real world and that we are living in a situation where in many cases the, the benefit of the one side is based on some some losses or some suffering of a group of people or individuals or whatsoever and this really touched me and and uh, made me think a lot and you met many new people for the first time here at the seminar a very diverse group do you think you will stay in touch i hope so um, and i think so um, after well, now it's a uh, saturday night and and we had um, 48 hours together in this group um, and I think for that short period of time we have really built up a, a connection and um, a lot of trust and uh, we've had we're having these very diverse points of view and uh, this this is really an, an enrichment and I certainly hope to stay in touch with with that group. And we certainly hope that you will also stay in touch with Espen and that we will see you in Berlin or in Stuttgart or anywhere else where we do our events and um, hope to see you soon again. <laughs> Thank you. Hope to see you soon too. Thanks. <laughs>